Hi, this is Gerdy again. Um, not inside this time, but uh, I'm walking the dog. See, that's him. Paco, say hello. There you go. I'm walking the dog and the weather is gorgeous. It's cold, so if I do a Trumpian sniffle, I do apologize. Um, the light is gorgeous and I don't know if you can see, but there is snow on the mountains. Let me see if I can show you. There you go. Way back there. Oh, well, maybe I can do it like this. See, snow on the mountains. Snow levels are slowly coming down. And um, there you go. Well, I was guiding a hike last Monday and what often happens is that the question, well it gets asked every single time really, the question gets asked of me how does someone from the Netherlands uh, happens to happen to live in Austria and become a mountain hiking guide? Well the flippant answer is um, it's very hard to be a mountain hiking guide in the Netherlands. It's not called the Netherlands for nothing after all. The real answer though is, the, the more elaborate answer, is that I went on holiday in Austria after Paco came into my life and found that I was completely at home. I don't know if it's Austria so much, I, don't, I think it's more the fact that there's mountains here and I would really, really miss the mountains. Oh, there's, an auto, there's a car coming, I do apologize. Uh, hopefully. It won't be too much noise. Here he comes. Here we go. So, I was um, on holiday in the mountains because it was a place I could easily come. And here comes the train. So, so many advantages to recording outside. Again, I was on holiday in Austria, which I chose to do instead of getting on an airplane somewhere uh, to go somewhere. Uh, I chose to go to Austria because it was easier to take the dog along. And to my great surprise, I found that I felt completely at home in the mountains. So it was then, and that's about 10, 11 years ago, that I decided to one day be living in the mountains. It took me another four years to figure out how it was that I could be doing that. Uh, at the time I was a freelance inter uh, manager, I would go into uh, companies and help them solve problems they had or take the place of a manager that was for some reason uh, incapacitated, ill or perhaps on uh, maternity leave, anything. So they needed a, somebody to help out or maybe do a project. and. For, uh, during those four years, I went back every single September to spend a month there and hike in the mountains. And very quickly, I decided I would take, uh, I would become a certified mountain hiking guide because that way I could make a little money while being on holiday. And also, I learned during those courses how to actually hi Christiana, how to. Uh, to move through the mountains because coming from the Netherlands I didn't really know anything about doing that how to safely find my way through the mountains so it took me four years to figure out how I could actually live in the mountains and how I would be able to sustain myself so that's what I did and then uh, when those four years were up well really what happened was that I was so fed up with what I was doing in the Netherlands that I decided that uh, enough was enough and I was going to just sell my house and move. I found a place to live in Austria. I came to, I moved there, packed up the whole house, sold the house, um, packed up the dog, put him in a car and left. That first year in Austria, I must say, I uh, nearly celebrated my newfound liberty. I hiked a lot. And when the winter came, I started skiing. And after that, I went the next summer. I worked, uh, started working as a full-time guide, a hiking guide. And servus, Christy. And then um, 
a winter came. I did a lot of skiing again, but I also started working as a taxi driver. Not the ideal job, but it brought in some money and helped me pay my bills. And it was the year after that that I started working as a ski instructor. And very quickly, really, uh, the moment I moved to Austria, and even a couple of years before Shaw, uh, I decided that at some point I would be combining hiking with... Um, with coaching because when going out in the mountains and when going out in the mountains I very quickly found that when you go there and you're hiking for something like two three hours conversations go much much deeper than they do when you're just going out for a nice walk so that's a little bit of background on me I've been living in Austria in the mountains ever since I miss the mountains when I go back, what you could call go back home to the Netherlands to visit my family. And I'm always glad when I drive back down here, come to Munich, because when I come to Munich, that's about the first time that I can really see the mountains again. And then when I pass Kitzbühel, uh, that's when I go over the pass and I get to see the beautiful Hohe Tauern again. And that's when I feel I've come home. But that's a little bit of background on me. Um, if you want to learn more about me, go to www.daregreatlycoaching.com. You've already found me on Facebook. And uh, you can also find me on LinkedIn and on other places, Instagram, Twitter. So, hope to hear from you. Let me know what you think about this video and uh, about the countryside and about all the cowbells that you can hear and uh, i'm sure i'll be keeping you up to date have a great evening bye